Hello Year 6s, we are going to continue writing our short narrative and planning towards it. So we're going to infer a character's thoughts and feelings. How do we know how the character is feeling? What uh, images and emotions do they show? We are going to use show, don't tell effectively to describe a character's feelings and emotions within a narrative. So what can you remember about the soldier? Where was he going? How would you describe him? What were his thoughts, feelings and actions? We are going to watch the clip again. I would like you to record how you can see how the sea soldiers are feeling. What do they do with their hands? Look at their facial expressions. What emotions is he feeling at this point? So as you can see from this, you can see how the soldiers are feeling without them even talking.
Okay, so describing a character's emotions. This is what we're going to be doing today. So we're going to look at the emotion and we're going to name it, such as nervous, anxious. How do we know he is feeling this way? What does his body do? So we're going to look at describing a character's emotions. We are going to name the emotion, for example, nervous and anxious. His hands are shaking uncontrollably. He is barely able to grip his water bottle. We are now going to look at how we can develop our description of a character's feelings and emotions. Which sentence builds a better image in the reader's mind? The soldier was nervous or fear coursed through his veins. Never in his life had he experienced anxiety such as this. His heart felt as though it was about to burst through his chest and beads of perspiration had formed on his forehead. As the boat inched ever closer to the shoreline, his hands began to shake uncontrollably, forcing him to lose his grip on his canteen. He was losing control. Okay, why is this a better description? A good writer can use show, don't tell sentences rather than saying how their character is feeling. They should describe their character's actions, giving hints as to what the feelings are. Here you can see the feelings in purple. Fear coursed through his veins. Heart felt as though it was about to burst through his chest. Beads of perspiration had formed on his forehead. His hands began to shake uncontrollably. These are really descriptive phrases rather than just saying the soldier was nervous. What we're going to do now, this is how we're going to set our work out. So there is a sheet that goes with this lesson in your pack. It has Thursday on the top. We are going to write the emotion the character is feeling at the top. And then we are going to describe his body language here. What is it? What is his body doing that shows you that he is feeling this way? And then write your show, don't tell sentence. For example, you would write nervous and anxious next to emotion. Next to actions, body or language, his hands are shaking uncontrollably. He's barely able to grip his bottle. And a sentence that you might write would be, as the boat inched ever closer to the shoreline, his hands began to shake uncontrollably, forcing him to lose his grip on his canteen. So your final sentence or sentences should be relating to what is happening in the video clip. So you're putting it all into context. This is the sheet that I'd like you to fill in. It gives you exactly the same ideas as to what you're expected to write as I just explained. Enjoy guys.